questions? Whenever you're ready, Tony. Hello, everyone. Start. Uh, no, can we get to the first slide? Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Tony Bachvanovsky. I'm CEO and founder of Gordian Technology, and I will talk about our project Carry. As you see, we are our company is about enhancing smart, smart technology to simplify everyone's life. Just a second. Okay, what is the problem that we are tackling in pro Project Carry? It's aging, and we will not prevent aging, but we will help aging population to have better life and decrease our resources that we use for care of the aging population. Aging population. Population is aging definitely, Europe and North America especially, we have increase of lifetime and we, we don't have enough time to care of our elderly and that's a problem. Uh, that the cost of the caretaking is increasing annually as we are striving to provide better care. What we do? Care will assist the caregivers on, the, on their day-to-day -day work. Uh, they, are, they will reduce cost and effort by but enabling to provide better care. Uh, we will have two levels of information provided for the caregivers. One is real-time data, which is like person have fallen, person have, uh, is sleeping too much or something like that, and follow the patterns of the people's daily life. So if the person is sleeping, I don't know, average eight hours, and now suddenly sleeps 10 hours, something is changed, we should do some, the caregiver should do something about it and check on the person. <coughs> but also a lot of aspects of the life are patterns. Uh, how it works? We have environmental sensors at the beginning. Uh, that will be in the place where the persons reside. Go to our servers, uh, uh, analyze, smart, smart server will analyze the data and give us the data on web, mobile app, tablet, whatever we use to connect to the internet. <coughs> Market. Market, the aging population is increasing exponentially if you see in the late, latest years. So the market is expanding, it's blowing. Only the uh, US and North, North America and Europe at this moment have 100 million potential care receivers. That's a market larger than Germany. And it will increase, it will double in 10 years. US market value of long-term care, $350 billion. It's 40% increase since 2014. We want 0.1 of 1% 1 of that market. <laughs> we don't want big percent. They are, it's a hot business now. They are competitors. These are just two that I choose that are my favorite, but there are few more. What's the difference? None of them is smart. They give us the information, but not the... Let's give a big round of applause to Tony. What's your background? Oh, my background, it's, uh, I'm a computer science engineer and telecom engineer, but I have years of work in disability and assistive technology. Uh, this idea I get in 2007, when I was still in assistive technology, I created the first non-profit in Eastern Europe that deals with assistive technology still existing, opened the windows, based in Skopje, pioneer in the region. Uh, I get that idea during that time. I wanted to start as a non-profit project, but then I decided if we add aging to disability, it can be for profit. And basically, my life since 2007 till now is preparing for this. The team that you will see, everybody of the team, I'm breeding them since then. In that time, it was too expensive to create that. But Darko and Maria, they're. 10 years younger than me. I know them since students, I breed them for that. My relation with the uh, Faculty of Defectology or Special uh, Education and Rehabilitation in Skopje, I started in 2007 and I have great relations with them and they are my science advisors. Faculty of Computer Science in Skopje also, I have followed them and found the two persons who already work in machine learning and biosensors and they are part of my team. So my last, what, nine, 10 years of life are dedicated to this. And I spend time with Susan Can you walk me through a typical use case of, of this? Okay, so there are two levels of using 
It's for long-term care centers and individual users. <coughs> At the beginning, I'm planning to focus on the business to business on long-term care centers. And let's say a care center of 100 rooms has to take care of 100 people, elderly people, will have sensors in throughout the whole center in the bedrooms. The caregivers will have monitoring station where they will get data about each individual. Not video, that's violation of the press. They will get data like a person is sleeping, person is in the restroom or out of the uh, out of the area, and they will get alarms. If somebody falls, they will get exactly which room and what is the closest path on the screen to that room. Or the uh, less urgent <coughs> alarms, like person start to sleep half an hour more, and it will be like yellow alarm. So they will get that on their cell phones or the tablets, <coughs> and finally they will get statistics like at the end of every month, every six months, how many accidents they had, how many uh, accidents were prevented, and all, all that stuff. In general, if you speak business, our calculations of our research of how much time people use on checking out, on, on a center with 100 rooms, we can save at least two employees, and let's say if you speak in US standards, that will be at least 100K a year, and our price will be 20, between 20 and 30k a year for them. So they will save, we will make money, everybody are happy. <laughs> Should we try this one somewhere, this system already? So, or it the, the, needs to be finished yet? Uh, officially the system is in the building since February this year we get funding from Fund of Innovation of Macedonia and we get money to install. We have two facilities in Macedonia, Mother Teresa Elderly Care Center in Skopje, and Poraka Negotino, which is for people with intellectual disability. We have it there, we are gathering the data, data. we are working with the personnel there closely to see what are their needs, because we are engineers, we, are, <laughs> we don't know exactly their needs, but our engineers also spend time in those two places to learn the, the trade. We are getting the data, the system is not ready at the moment, but we are on the good path. Uh, end of January 2017, we will have the first version that will give some data and that will provide some usability, at least in those two places we are planning to install it more. Okay. Uh, one more question. We have time for one more question. <laughs> in terms of the implementation, uh -huh. um, is it like, I would say, cloud-based? where more clients can use the infrastructure or it's uh, on-premises implementation? So, so both. We have to put the senders on premises. They will send the data to the cloud and then from the cloud you can access the data. Depends on the regulation per country. Sometimes that data cannot be accessed out of that country or we are digging into that. But it's, it's both cloud and senders on premises, and we are hoping on variables that will be produced very soon, cheap and good variables that can be integrated in our system. Um, the time is up. I would like to thank you for the